Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is Retro Beard. I'm um, doing my weekly retro ramblings that I always do on a um, Saturday. I believe this is issue 12, which is quite amazing to say there's 12 parts to this series. It's um, for those who aren't familiar or have forgotten, this is a uh, weekly video that I do every Saturday where it's sort of completely unscripted and I just ramble along, talk about gaming news, my life, anything that comes into my head, so my purchases, events, really anything, that's why it's called rambling. So it's usually not edited at all, or at the very least minimally edited, so it's a pretty natural thing. Normally I sit in my um, comfortable chair and relax, and but today I'm trying this new format because um, I'm trying to condense my setups to be a little bit more efficient and not depend on my mobile phone as much, so I've, yeah, it'll all um, it'll all refine and perfect over time. I apologise if the video quality isn't quite up to standard because I am using my laptop's um, webcam, but a new and improved webcam is on my list of purchases for this year. So my setup, like I'm sure every YouTuber's, is a work in progress. Before I uh, say any more, if you enjoy my content, please like, subscribe, click the notification bell, give me a comment, a like, share the video, spread the word, and let's help grow this channel. Thank you very much. I just want to say, I do really appreciate all the support I've had. I mean, 2020, I only started at the end of August, I think, and um, it's been a fantastic journey, and I've done really well, and it's all thanks to you. It's not me, it's you, you've all, you've all helped, and every comment and watch and like and subscription, it's fantastic. So. I want 2021 to be an even better year in all senses, not just my channel, but in all senses. So that's why, alongside the much more important things in life, I'm trying to keep this keep evolving this channel. So if this change of format is a little bit strange, bear with me because nothing's set in stone. Um, yeah, so um, I'll start off with a little bit of news, um, personal news. I started as of a, as of three days ago streaming, live streaming on YouTube, um, and I see there's not been quite as many um, likes and comments from the usual people. But I just want to say, please bear with me because I didn't know this being a bit of a noob. Um, when you finish streaming, the videos save and become normal videos. Well. I've just done the next two parts in my Shining Force playthrough series as, as streams, by streams. Now, after the stream, they're videos, they're the next two parts, and the only difference is the fancy layouts I've been trying out, and the fact that there's people talking to me, well, typing to me, and I'm talking to them. Other than that, it's the exact same content. It's me playing the game, and me talking, and trying to make sense, and not get my, make, make a complete fool of myself in the game. So. Um, please bear with me the changes because I'm not I'm not leaving anybody behind because like I say if you're not into live streams or if you're not available at the times I do them the video is waiting for you the next day anyway so there's n so please you know don't think I've moved on or forgotten or I've stopped doing videos because they're all there um, and it's just the same but I've got to admit it I find the process of engaging with people in real time quite rewarding so I'm going to be st with that said I'm going to be streaming um, Monday to Friday and Sunday of every week at approximately, I'll let you know if it changes because obviously it's a work in progress, 4 p.m. GMT. So um, you'll have to w work out your time difference if you're in a different country. Um, like some parts of America have got five or six hours difference, you know, North America and all that. And other places in Europe have got a couple of hours. So, but it's, you know, it's GMT time. So it's a, it seems to be a good time. So I'd really appreciate that, but so think of it as my normal videos, my normal playthroughs, but you can engage with me in real time if you choose, and it's really nice. I've really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so there are changes on my channels, but they're my channel, but they're positive changes. They're not negative. They're steps forward. Um, for now, I'm going to keep these retro ramblings as pre-recorded, and I was tempted to do that as a live stream, but not for now. We'll see how it goes. Um, so that's my news on the channel. Um, yeah, the re the, um, I, I, I touched on it a minute ago, but the reason why I'm doing 
um, these ramblings with a different format is because before I was doing a I know it looked like a pretty basic setup but it, 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 I was using my mobile phone on a stand and um, setting up my room and changing my room around and stuff and um, I don't have a lot of time and, and my channel has been about making doing a lot more in um, the same amount of time not um, not not doing more with more time that makes any sense efficiency um, so please please um, see that as I get more refined and get better equipment it'll really start being polished off yeah and um, and bear with this camera it's not very good I can see the quality is not as good um, it makes me look like I've not got any teeth for example which is not that there's anything wrong with having any teeth but look, it's just my moustache uh, I've got teeth so bear with that when I get a better camera I'll look more like my usual self um, but we have to work with what we've got you know everybody in their early days of their channel unless they've got a lot of money has to constantly improve their equipment don't they um, yeah I'll have a quick look in my you know before I was using my tablet for my retro rambling reminding well I've got old school now I've got pencil and paper but I got this lovely present from my um, lovely lady I've not fully it's my Xbox book is that not cool that's a retro not, not retro but a gaming item in itself isn't it um, just to remind me some old school pen and paper or pencil and paper ah remember um, in the last video two videos of retro ramblings when I shown you the 4k special edition Lord of the Rings and Hobbits um, blue 4k blu-rays I got well I watched them or most of them and here's my little mini review that I'm gonna bung in um, if you've got 4k player like an Xbox One S, One X, Series S, Series X or a proper 4K player or a PlayStation 5 um, and you've got a 4K TV and you love the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit films I wholeheartedly recommend buying them because $74.99 for the three Hobbits and the three Lord of the Rings each you know for each trilogy it sounds a lot of money but you're getting the three theatricals and the three extended editions discs together in each package so actually it's pretty cheap um, the blu-ray extended edition trilogy was 34.99 upon release so it's actually yeah good value um, because for you know 4k superior and uh, but as for a review of the performance in both of them I would say the, the Lord of the Rings was the biggest jump in improvement because obviously it's an older film the clarity of picture is good very good but the main thing that really impressed me was the sound it's been in both the films both the trilogies it's been remastered rebalanced and it's beautiful you don't need to keep turning the volume up and down because the levels between the music and the um the voices and all that are all more balanced and it's clear and i've understood words that the, the actors have said more and all that it's, so the, the sound remastery was the biggest thing i noticed the picture remaster is good the cgi remaster is nice but yeah, so I recommend them if you're a big fan of the films. They are worth having, they're not just a scam. Um, so that's my mini review. I'd give them, if I was to do it out of 10, 8.5 out of 10 for each. Mm. Something else. I've been looking at a retro emulation console from China. You know these AliExpress ones called the Super Console X. And I've watched a few reviews on YouTube from respected reviewers. And I'm considering getting it in the sale because it, it looks pretty good. You get three editions basically with 30,000 games um, 40,000 games or 50,000 games something like that and um, it, seemed, it, it seems to f pretty flawlessly emulate all the older 8 to 16 bit systems but it seems to have quite a good ability with the 32 bit systems and onwards it's pretty decent and um, the it's got more although not obscure to me more obscure to people from around the world consoles like the computers like Sinclair Spectrums on it Amstrad, Commodore Amiga, Atari ST and all those other sort of ones um, it's got don't quote me on this but something like 50 consoles and computers on it emulating and um, with a massive emphasis on the older stuff and also MAME and arcade stuff and all that and yeah in the sale it seems to be going down quite you know January sales quite low so I'm thinking about picking one up because 
saw my game streaming, it would re because it's a tiny little box, it looks a bit like a Super Nintendo, I could plug it straight into my capture card and then just let us all enjoy together loads of fantastic games on systems that I've talked about, but I've got no way of showing you. Getting a Sinclair Spectrum hooked up to my capture card and set up and all that, it, it, it'll be money and pain in the bum and the loading, and I don't want one of these FGPA ones because I don't really want to spend three or four hundred pound to show you Spectrum. I'm not made of money. So I'm thinking about um, getting one of them because we can have so much fun exploring the games of the past like Commodore 64, Amstrad, Spectrum, some of the Amiga classics. So it might be a good investment for the channel. What do you think? Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Um, that's me with this book finished. I'll put it down. But yeah, so this year, I'm doing a subject change, but it is ramblings. This year, it's going to be streaming six days a week, which will convert into videos to keep building up my playlist. So it's still a fairly seamless transition. It's not me abandoning in the old format, it's me enhancing it. For, so that way, people who enjoy streaming are pleased and people who enjoy videos are pleased, hopefully. Um, retro ramblings will continue, albeit with perhaps some experimentation on the format and the style. My setup will continuously improve. I will try and take on board any feedback, but most of it seems to be quite constructive, which is really nice. Um, keep growing my Instagram, because now there's something like, last time I looked, over 5,300 followers, which is amazing. That's gonna keep on growing. And I keep pointing people on Instagram over here, because, you know, I want Retro Beer to be a brand that people enjoy and do what do what people enjoy and a lot of people especially on Instagram in messages have asked me to play certain games um, for playthroughs you know like one chap asked me to do Ninja Gaiden on the Game Boy I believe was it the Game Boy or the Game Boy Color but anyway Ninja Gaiden I think it was Game Boy and um, you know <sighs> With this retro super super console X I was looking at, that would be no problem. And, em and, I, and I'm not against emulation. I'm all for emulation. It has its place. I do love real hardware because of the feel, the look, the memories, and all that. But retro has its um, emulation has its place, especially when done well. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, and I like convenience, and I've, and I've got a my setup is a very condensed setup because I, you know, I, I uh, British British homes because I'm I'm from the United Kingdom, I'm British um, or English specifically. We don't generally have as big homes as our counterparts, like places like America and stuff. And we're not quite at the level that the Japanese are at, but we are there in the sense that we try and condense a lot into smaller areas. So we're not boxed in. So my setup has got a lot of technology packed into a small area. So I, I work on features, functionality, efficiency, and size. Um, so that's where this Super Console X would fit me because I could put it there, plug it straight to my capture card, and boom, I've got a console with nearly everything I want to show everybody. And if you want to see real hardware and real, real um, games. I either show them on these ramblings or my Instagram is full of my collection of games or ones that I choose to show anyway because some of them I don't feel are relevant but yeah um, I mean I know I know like Sega Saturn is difficult to emulate but you know one step at a time I will have a Sega Saturn solution I'm, I'm probably gonna get a modded Saturn and and just perhaps do a, do it a gameplay stream of it occasionally so the hassles worth it but yeah, um, on a more personal level, I hope you all had a fantastic new year and you enjoyed your family and Christmas as well and you all were safe and enjoyed your family and didn't do anything silly but also didn't miss out on good times because we're going to strike that balance between being humans and being responsible and our emotional, physical needs versus protecting protecting our community and each other because we're all in this together, aren't we? You know, And you know what I'm talking about, don't you? Um, we got into this together and we're going to get out of it together and that's the only way it works. Um, and there's a, a balance between being mindless drones and thinking for ourselves, but also not being selfish. 
And I, I know I, I try and strike that balance. I'm not claiming I always get it right, but you know, and, and talking on here and sharing and laughing and, and it'll help with the loneliness because all of us can be lonely. You see, I'm, um, I'm a fairly quiet, isolated person anyway. I, I go to work, I come home. I don't mix and socialize as much as some people anyway, but I've still lost out from this and I have a heck of a lot of empathy for people who have massive social lives and who need that socializing. I'm quite selectively sociable. I enjoy fellow nerds and geeks and stuff, you know. I'm not massively into mainstream people. I mean, I'll talk and I'll pass the time of day, but you know, it, preferably I like to be talking about games or one of my other passions I enjoy wargaming like Warhammer and all that I mean I've not got to properly play for quite a few years but I still enjoy it and enjoy the stories and the world and painting the odd model and of course I like my martial arts you can see behind me I've got a wooden wooden dummy um, but yeah so it's nice I'm gonna leave it at that it's a pretty decent first Retro Rambler 2021 and I hope my new formats and my changes haven't upset you or driven you off because please bear with me it's going to be all nice in the end just trust me and in fact you can get your hands on me more we can talk properly now and exchange in real time as well as if that's not your thing or you're not available just check out the videos afterwards because you can still pop me a comment nothing nothing's changed it's just improved to a, to satisfy more people so Thank you very much. Take care of yourselves. If you and once again, if you enjoy this content and any of my other content, please like, subscribe, share, click the notification bell, give me a comment, you know, like and all that and malarkey. And um, take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic day and um, happy new year. Um, I will see you tomorrow for the live stream. I'm not sure what game I'm going to do yet. I'm tempted towards Shining Force, but I'm also fancying a change. So I'll see how it goes. Um, feel free to give me your suggestions, of course, and um, anything like it, always, you know, so take care of yourselves, don't be strangers, just keep contact, this is Retrobeard signing off, thank you very much, goodbye.